Hello, my name is D'Angelo Ferry. I'm the author of uh, Angela Maria, Italian American Love Story, Joke, uh, and uh, Scopa. Ebooks available at Smashwords. We've created a few videos for you to tell you a little bit about the books and to entertain you with a few magic tricks, let you know what it was like to try and be a magician, a little kid magician, growing up in a big, crazy Italian American family. I hope you enjoy them. Hi, my name is D'Angelo Ferry. Thank you for watching my little video. Uh, I'm the author of uh, Scopa, the Chairmark Hit. It's an ebook available at Smash Words. You can read it on your phone. You could read it on um, Kindle. It's uh, Apple. It's available in all sorts of formats. And we'll put up uh, a link on the web on on this video so you know where to get it. Uh, Scopa, in Italian, means to sweep. And it also is the name of a card game. And the story takes place uh, after Sunday dinner. Uh, my detective, Angelo DiCarini, and his father are talking about the supposed assassination attempt of President-elect Roosevelt and the execution of Giuseppe Zangara. This is, this is something that actually happened. And. Uh, I became very interested in this story. Uh, to me, it's it's like the it's like a blueprint for the, the Kennedy assassination. In that, the person who ended up dying that night wasn't Roosevelt; it was Chairmark. And to me, Zengar is is a lot like um, uh, the the guy that they picked to say he shot uh, Kennedy, Oswald. Uh, the thing that fascinated me the most was I got my hands on all the newspaper reports of the time. And then I was able to get classi former classified documents and FBI files. And I could compare what the public was told to what actually happened. And then I weave this into this, the suppositions of my, my detective and uh, his, his father, um, half Neapolitan, half Sicilian. Uh, I had, we had family at that time, so we would have thought about this in a completely different way. Uh, I thought it would be interesting for people to also learn how to play the game Scopa if they don't know. So at the end of the story, I'll teach you how to play Scopa. Some people may think, well, that's nice, but I don't have an Italian playing card, so that's the purpose of these cards here. There's um, 40 cards in a deck of Italian playing cards. So if you were to take your standard deck and take out the 8s, 9s, and the 10s, now you've got an equivalent of an Italian deck. There's no 8s, 9s, or 10s in the deck. Uh, there's four suits. Uh, these are Neapolitan cards. So these are spade, swords. They would be spades in your regular deck. These are cuppe, cups, and they would be hearts in your regular deck. These are bastone. They would be clubs in your regular deck. And these are denari, coins. And uh, they would be diamonds in your regular deck. Now you're going to learn all the scoring and scope of strategy. One thing, um, for example, the seven of diamonds, or in your Neapolitan deck, Italian deck, Sette di Bella, is the most valuable card in scope. It's worth one point by itself. So this is one card that you're going to compete compete for. Scope is a mathematical game based on 10. Uh, there's also a game called Quindici, which means 15 in Italian. The rules are the same as Scope, except uh, you have to sweep cards that total 15. So it's a variation that is it's explained. It's very interesting. Uh, I just want to give you a little idea. Uh, I'm going to deal the four cards face up. You can play with the cards up or down, but this is just to give you an idea of how the, the game works. Your opponent gets three cards. You get four put in the middle, and then you get three cards. The idea is to be able to take cards from the center of the, uh, the table. You can either take them by matching the card that's on the table, or, let's say there's, you have a 10 and there's two 5s. Well, 5 and 5 is 10. You can take cards that way. 
Um, if there's only one card left and you take it, that's called a scopa. That's worth one point. So in scopa, you're interested in getting denarii, you're interested in getting the sete de bella, you're interested in getting as many individual cards as you can, and there's another score called La Primera, which is explained in the book. Scope is a mathematical game. If you play it in an open format, it almost becomes chess-like. If he does this, I'll do that, he does this, and so it, it, it becomes very interesting. If you like that sort of thing, and I do, it's, it's fascinating. Quindici is based on 15. Um, the rules are the same. I, this is a great game, I think, to play with kids because you're teaching them how to add and subtract. Uh, you're teaching them math, uh, and they think they're having a good time. They are, but you're, it's kind of a way to get them to eat their vegetables without their knowing it. So um, I hope you'll uh, go to the website. You can download a sample of the book for free. Uh, the story is pretty fascinating. It's all true. And... Um, you learn how to play Scopa and Quindici, and thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the videos. And please uh, visit uh, my website and uh, my Smashwords page, and you can get them right here. Thank you very much.